Hey there everybody, it's me Ira, welcome to the jungle, I live in the jungle now. If you don't know that I live in the jungle now, you need to go watch the first couple parts of this series. Cause otherwise you're gonna be very confused, welcome. I am in the jungle, this is right where we left off, I have not done a single thing. I need to have a snack, though. I am realizing. Uh, oh, oh, that wasn't a lot. I might have to go, I was hoping to immediately start making some charcoal. I'm okay for now, I guess. I'm okay for now. Um, we'll just stick this pot over here. Uh, that is the last of my food right here, though. I got a little less than half a serving. So I am gonna have to go and get some more meat soon. Get some more food. Um, maybe before I do that, I can manage to get a charcoal pit going. We, we got our copper. That's just a fire tree spool. Okay, where's our copper? There's our copper. We've got enough copper for one hammer, one pickaxe. One hammer, one pickaxe. That's 40 nugs. We got 42, we get two nugs over the minimum. We're in good shape as far as copper goes. And then we can go mine up some more and then uh, do more stuff. However, first things first, uh, we, we, need, we need the charcoal. You cannot, and this is a fact, you cannot make the copper without the charcoal. I'm gonna start clearing out some of these trees uh, just for the sake of making firewood. We're not going to make a huge fire pit. It's our very first fire pit. Oh dear, I didn't mean to take the bamboo, but I got the bamboo. So that's just the way it goes. Uh, by the way, I have updated to the latest version. Um, not necessarily by choice. <laughs> but uh, our, our, our good developer uh, done, done a little bit of a derp. And I'm, I'm not mad about it because, you know, derps happen. I, I, even I, folks, folks, even me, Ira, even I derp on occasion. <laughs> It has been known to happen, um, but uh, the, the new update somehow broke the old versions. I think there's something, there was some explanation that I didn't really understand about uh, it looking for images in the start screen and not finding them, and so old versions were broken now. Uh, it's fine, I updated, uh, we, will, we will see, this is the first time I'm really using the new version 1.12.6. So, uh, we'll see how well it goes, but, um, just gonna be careful digging here, because we'll have, we'll have, we'll have caves, cave-ins and collapses. Uh, I did mod this again, by the way, in case you forgot. Um, one of the things that supposedly is better now is we shouldn't be getting that lag anymore. That's what I've been told. That's what the developer said to me is that this version fixes that. So, so far, we're looking good, actually. I am not getting that lag, which is awesome. I didn't enjoy having it. I tolerated it because that's the way it goes sometimes, but if I don't have to, then that's great. That's just swell. Okay, so I think this is good for now. We'll make bigger fire pits later, but I do need to go hunting. So I'm gonna get this set up. And if you are new to making fire pits, my friends, we need, we're gonna need a grass, piece of grass, piece of grass, one piece of grass, ah, ah, ah. It's a Sesame Street reference. Uh, then this actually, um, there we go, you gotta cover it up completely. Um, the fire pits now need to be lit to start them, but the charcoal pile still doesn't. So that's all we need to do, and we can just leave that there. We can even, we can get all excited. And we can stick our 40 nugs in here. It still needs the charcoal, but we got our 40 nugs. Um, I am prepared to build myself a little house. I actually went into a creative world. I actually took a few minutes, and I even planned out exactly what I want to do. Um, but I, uh, I should get some food first, right? I should get a little bit more food, because this isn't going to last us very long. Uh, by the way, one other thing that I need to do. Um, I... I have experienced, not firsthand, but secondhand, in someone else's video, I have experienced the temporal storms and stuff like that. And no thank you. No thank you to that. No thank you, says Ira. Ira's not interested in that. They're basically, it's, it's, you can just search Vintage Story Temporal Storm on YouTube. You'll find at least one or two people showing them off. Uh, they're bad. They're bad on the eyes. They're bad on the brain. They give you a headache. They make you feel nauseous. And they're really scary. And I see absolutely nothing about that that would be an advantage or a useful thing that would add anything whatsoever to my gameplay. I am not in this for horror. I know that the developers are big fans of horror. I am not a fan of horror. I don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna take it out. And that's really easy to do. If you, like me, do not like the horror and you want that out of your world, 
even after you've uh, made your world, you can still change it. As long as you have admin privileges, which if you're in a single player world, you automatically do. So slash world config. Uh, we need temporal storms, big S there. And we're gonna have that as off. Okay, so that's the first one. World configs, so there's gonna be no storms. Temporal stability. Uh, that's going to be false, not off. Because uh, that's, a, that's a boolean, I think is the word. It's a yes or no. It's a false or true, and we're setting that to false. Uh, and then one other thing that I did promise I was going to do. I'm not just making everything easier for myself. Which one is it here? I've got on my other screen, I've got the list. Player hunger speed. Now let's just, if we just hit enter, it'll tell me what it is now. It's currently at 0.5. Now I promised that I was going to increase this. Uh, each day. So I'm gonna uh, put that up to 0 0.5, wait, 0 0.55? Is that what I was gonna do? I think that's what I was gonna do, yes. So that's at 55% of vanilla. So I am gonna get hungry even faster now. All the more reason, yeah, for me to, uh, get out there and get hunting. I think we're good. I think, I think I can take all this stuff with me. I'll bring the, I can put the rock down later if I need to. I don't need to completely empty out my inventory. Uh, so I went that way before, and I found some chickens. I guess might as well kind of head the same way. So let's, let's, oh, there's another, there's more copper nugs right here. Sorry, I'll leave them for now. I don't need them at the moment. Uh, so there we go. Um, so, food, I need food. I'm really excited about building my house, actually. I hope that I'll get to that in this episode. And if I don't, uh, certainly in the next episode. It, it really depends how long it takes me to find some food here. Oh! <gasps> Oh, we got a Piggly Wiggly. We got a Piggly Wiggly right here. Let me see if I can trap the Piggly... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to, am I? Because we've got... Um, okay, hold on. Hold on. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some cob. This is ten pieces of cob. It's very cheap. It's a thing that I appreciate. Uh, I want to make... I want to make a little home for our Piggly Wiggly until it grows up. And I won't have to... Now, there should be a Mama Wiggly, Mama Piggly Wiggly, around here somewhere. Use your shovel, Ira. Uh, and now I should be able to do this without cave-ins. Uh, now, if I can get on the other side of that Piggly Wiggly, I can chase it down here. Get it. There we go. Go, where'd you go? No, no, little, little piggy friend, Piggly Wiggly, Piggly Wiggly, excuse me, excuse me, I'm faster than you, I shouldn't really be, but I've modified the games that I am, get in, get in your hole, there we go, Piggly Wiggly's in the hole, Piggly Wiggly will stay in the hole, where is your mama, because if I can find your mama, I'm gonna find a very good source of food, I already used all my cob though, so let's get some more of this, also out of soil, but that's okay, that's easily remedied. There we go, boom. Four soil and five grass, you get ten pieces of cob. Very handy stuff, folks. Oh, there's more, there's more cob right here as well. Gotta remember this. Gotta remember this. I think I will. I think I will. And if I don't, you guys will yell at me. So, that is great. Um, was reading the comments to the last episode. I am not so far in the future this time. I, uh... I got distracted by setting up a new Minecraft patron server, which, uh, by the way, it's only a dollar. I'm not going to spend the whole episode talking about Patreon or nothing like that. Um, but I have a new vanilla Minecraft server with some data packs, and I'm going to be making some quests for uh, players to complete, hopefully on a weekly basis. It's only a dollar. Uh, Patreons. Patreons? Patrons on Patreon. One dollar and up, that's all it takes. I really want to encourage people to join in on this one. I can't make it free because I tried to make a free public server once and it, it went badly. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't it was a good experience for me. Um, but I can set the price real low. So anyone who's interested, go check out my, my Discord, check out Patreon, all that stuff. It's it's all in the description below this video. I think you all probably know that. You're not new. We've, we've been doing this for a while. Maybe you are new. If you are new, hey. It's below the description of my video. I'm going over here because I see some rice. I did not find Mama Pig. There must be a Mama Pig. I don't think baby pigs uh, spawn by themselves. Well, we got 9 of 10, 9 of 10, 8 of 10. These ones are less, though. I'm going to take these ones. <gasps> oh, I didn't get a seed. How cruel. 
game is so cruel sometimes. I got one <laughs> one seed. I have a couple of cabbage seeds as well back at the base. Uh, I have a gun in this. Oh, goodness. I've got the coordinates up again. I'm sorry, folks. I have been playing on the server a lot. Uh, I am planning to stream from the server again soon, too, so that's going to be fun. Um, well, actually, by the time this video comes out, I probably will already have streamed again. I've been working on my farm and having just a grand old time uh, with that. But, um... I do have to remember to turn the coordinates off when I start this world. In any case, we have not been in this direction, which is... Which way is the sun moving? This is west? I believe this is west. We're going west? Let's move it slowly. I'm actually not sure now. It's not important. Let's not stand here and watch the sun move. It's this way. <laughs> this way from my base. We have we have not really explored this way. So, uh, I did not realize that it opened up so quickly here. Oh, we've got more copper. I hope I can leave. Oh. I can do this. I can leave this here. Uh, I don't really have a torch for this, but... I'm not going to take the nugs. So I want to put a, a thing somewhere where I might notice it. Maybe right here, out in the open. Lenore will remind me right there. Go check that out right there. I'm going to need more copper soon. I'm going to need a lot of copper. What kind of clay is this? Ooh. This is dangerous clay. This is a clay that leads into a hole. It's blue clay. Okay. I don't need fire clay now, obviously, but if I found a big patch of fire clay, I wouldn't complain about it. Like, I wouldn't mind. I keep getting distracted, folks. I'm supposed to be out here looking for food. I'm supposed to be looking for delicious num-nums. And that means, uh, delicious animals. I'm sorry, animals, but I have very few options for survival here. And I do need to probably murder some of you. I'm not gonna murder you unnecessarily. Eventually, I will be raising you as pets as well as meat. But for right now, there's more clay here. Possess more blue clay. Okay, that's fine. I'm alright with that. Man, I'm just, I'm finding nothing though. And I don't have the game sound turned up very loud on my speakers because I don't want the microphone to pick it up, so it is possible that you're all going, I right, listen! I, when I was editing that very first video, I'll tell you what, uh, I heard the chickens while I was editing, but I couldn't hear them while I was playing because I had the sound turned down. Got a little lake right here. I am getting some, some jitteriness. In the visuals, uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm recording, or if it's um, something to do with the update. Maybe instead of the lag that we had before, things are going to get a little, a little bit of a lower frame rate. I don't really know. I don't really know, folks. Uh, but I don't see any animals over here. Is the bad news? could check the temperature and see if it's possible for animals to spawn here. Because if I'm in a real, real hot area, then there's no chance of animals anyway. And maybe I should just go to where I found them before. But I don't know, it feels it feels like it might be a little cheaty to, to check the... Oh, oh, we had a little bit of a... A very brief visual freeze. Don't see anything over here. Alright. Let's, let's head this way, back over towards where I found the chickens before. And we'll see what we find. Clearly have andesite in this area. But a bum bum. I hope I haven't got myself turned around. I don't think I have. I think I'm alright. Yeah, I see the, the rice up there. Okay. Go this way and around, and we can head towards the, uh, the chicken zone. I don't think they spawn in very often, though, and I did kill all the adults last time. So I'm not sure if we're gonna find any chickens. It would be great to find some pigs. It would be great to find some pigs, though, folks. There's more copper here. Guys. Boop. There we go. <laughs> I did very, I very, very softly heard the ground crumble away behind me. That does happen, doesn't it? Alright, home is sort of that way-ish. I believe. I, I got some compliments in the in the comments about uh, 
My sense of direction, by the way. I should, I should probably take some of these, make another basket back at the base. At least one more basket. The other one is already full. Um, yeah, th thank you very much. I, uh... I, I have found that my sense of direction in grid-based games is pretty good. On the other hand, I have also found that in any game that is not grid-based, I get lost instantly. <laughs> I mean, instantly. I've been playing this game, Dwaros. I did a video on this. Um, just came out about, I guess, about a week ago as I'm recording this. A little less. And uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful game world. But it's not based on grids. It's kind of low poly, but with kind of HD textures. It's it's uh, it's it's got a nice aesthetic, kind of a cartoonish aesthetic. I like it a lot. It's very relaxing. Um, but I get lost constantly. I mean, the game world isn't that big, and I just cannot keep my sense of direction in that place. It's it's bananas. And you guys, my food is starting to get a little low. I may have been premature in increasing the speed. I do know exactly where I am, by the way. And those of you who are a little confused... Oh no, I'm out of food completely. <gasps> that ruin right there is that first ruin that we found. So the base is right over there. And I found the chickens just over in this direction. So I should... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lean over away from the microphone. There we go. And I'm gonna... I see an animal. Uh, I just turned up my speaker so I can listen for animals. Is that another babby pig? Is that another pig? Is it another Piggly Wiggly? Where's your mama? Hey, listen up, Piggly Wiggly. Where's your mama and daddy? I need... I need them. You don't have any... any nutrition in you. You're very scrawny. I require... Uh, somewhat beefier... forms... of nutrition. I, I don't see any parents. I only see the tiny babbies. Babbies, I love you very much. Except for the annoying squeal that you do. That is actually not my favorite. But you're supposed to stay with your parents. Where are your parents? Have you spawned without parents? Guys, has the game changed so that only the babies spawn at first and I have to wait for them to grow up? Because that's going to take... That's going to take way too long. I can't afford that. I was really kind of counting on finding a pig or two and being able to... Um, to live off of that for a while. Because if you kill one pig, one adult pig, gets you quite a lot of food, actually. Oh, man. I should go probably read over the change log a little more closely. I mean, maybe that's not it. Maybe I'm just having the bad luck. Maybe they got separated from their parents. I don't know. But it is, it is a little concerning. These poor babies all left all alone in the world. No one to care for them. No one to love them, no one to protect them from vicious predators like me. He's so sad. Oh man, the sun's going down. I feel like, I always feel like I've wasted a lot of daylight. Kind of faffing around doing nothing. It's that, it's that recording brain. I've talked about it before. It's still true. It hasn't gotten better. This is still an 8 out of 10. Got night music starting up just to try to spook me a little bit. This is why I turn the sound off. The sounds get scary. I get scared. <laughs> I get scared all the time. Uh, oh, I gotta be careful because we do have cave-ins here. So right over here is where I found the chickens before. But, as I said, I did kind of murder them all and eat their bodies already. And you can, you know, you know that old saying. You can only murder a chicken once. And its corpse will only feed you for about a day. That is copper. Did I find that before? I feel like I might have. I'm not gonna worry about marking that right now. Right now, I am like... My, my, my hunger bar is full. Yes. Yes, that is true. However, listen. <laughs> it's full now, but it's not gonna stay that way. And if I don't find something to kill and eat soon, I'm gonna be in trouble. You hear that music? That's that music is pretty spoopy, and it's spoopy for a reason. It's because I'm in danger of starving to death. <laughs> that's 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 the meaning of that music. I don't know if you knew that. I'm still thinking over whether I should use game commands to see if I'm in a spawnable area. I I did set the pigs to be able to spawn more copper. I think we're gonna be fine with copper. Uh, I did set the pigs to be able to spawn up to 32 degrees Celsius. 
world. Um, hey, why is my gear turning? Excuse me. I turned that off. I better have worked. My gear should be stuck still. Hmm. Hmm. I'll prove this. I'm getting further and further from the base, but I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Not really. Tons of copper in this direction. This is a direction to come in for copper, folks. I'm gonna make a mental note. Note to self. There's clay everywhere. And also, this is the way to come for copper. Man. It's just nothing. Even the... There's no chickens. So if I, if I use the... There's, a, there's a, a command I can run to find out the climate information for the tile that I'm standing on. And if I find out that the, the uh, temperature is higher than 32 degrees, then nothing's going to spawn, and I'm wasting my time. The question is, is that realistic, right? I'm not trying to make this easy on myself, for sure. This is a challenge, and the main challenge, especially here at the start, is going to be, can I find enough to eat? And figuring out if I'm in an area where animals can spawn is maybe part of the challenge, or is it? They don't spawn that often, regardless, right? Oh, I thought I saw a tin. I got real excited. It was just andesite. It was just andesite. Now it's nighttime. It's going to be even harder to find stuff. The animals are all going to be asleep, so they're not going to be making any noise. And that hunger bar is no longer full. It is going down. It's going down bit by bit. Oh, got another frame drop there. I don't like those. I don't like them at all. I, was, I suppose it's generating new terrain right now as well, so... I know where I am, by the way, folks, in case anyone's worried. I do know where I am. I am not lost. I'm just kind of... There's a lot more grassland in this world than I expected. Which makes it easier than if we were purely in a jungle, but there is no way to make a pure jungle world, as I've, as I've said. And, uh... In any case, with all the tall grass and stuff, and especially at night, I don't- it's not actually that much of an advantage being out here, in the grass. I still can't see nothing. It's ridiculous. Hmm. So the question is, would I be able to tell what the temperature is? Right? Like, if I were- whatever- whatever creature I am, I'm not- I'm not a human. Look at this. What am I? I'm a blue thing. I'm a blue, ponytailed... being. Right? Um... Oh, there's tin. Okay, tin, this this uh, this I want to be able to find again. So let's go do that. Um, would would a being like me be able to find, be able to to tell what the temperature is without any technology, no thermometer or anything? Although to be fair, without any technology, I feel like uh. Ooh, ruin. <gasps> That's an adult. I can't see them. They're not down here, are they? Hope not. Let's see if we can find them in a moment. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, excuse me. Can I just, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I just, uh, this probably is going to have, like, an ore vessel. Ah! Cavins. It's not even a cave. That's how advanced this game is. You can have cavins without even having a cave. I think... It's here will be the vessel. There it is. Food. I'll take it. I mean, it's just gonna be grain. Not very filling, but in case of emergency, I'll be glad I have that. Okay, I heard a pigs. I heard a pigs. I'm not correcting my grammar. That's that's what I meant to say. Where was it? Oh, it's so hard to see in the darkness. That was this way. It'll be a little bit quieter now. We're hunting piggledy wiggledies. Where'd it go? I definitely heard a grown up piggledy wiggledy. Somewhere. It was a sound that was too deep and throaty and mature to be made by a babby. They're not down here, are they? I'm always worried that they're gonna run. They do so frequently just run into ravines and stuff. It's not, it's not good. 
I can see a little bit in the dark. I don't know how, how the YouTube compression is going to affect your ability to see. I can't see a lot, but I can see a little bit. I don't see any movement, is the thing. I don't know which way they ran off to. The forest, perhaps? The forest in the rain forest? <gasps> yes! Folks. Folks, this is incredible news. Okay. Okay, this is incredible news. And there's more tin here! This is paradise. We found paradise. Welcome to paradise. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, hi there. I need to put the cob down. And then we need to get one of these boars. I don't want to kill all of them. I do want them to keep breeding. Okay, do that. I need it to be too deep. So they can't come back out and murder me. Um, and then the thing is, right? When you hit a boar, there's a chance that they will run away from you, and there's a chance that they will run toward you and try to hit you. And you don't know what it's gonna be. In my experience, the sows mostly run away from you. No, you're not gonna stay there. I'm kind of trying to Set up a little signal to myself as where I need to go here. Let's just make a little more cob. This is this is such such good news, folks. One pig is gonna give me enough meat for several meals. Okay. Put this here. I'm gonna make like a oops. A little funnel. Okay, where'd you go? Oh no, run, oh, don't run away from me. Okay. Um, so if it comes at me, these things hit pretty hard. And I might be in trouble. But if it runs away, it'll go the right direction. So I'm gonna hope it'll run away. Nope! It's coming towards me. Uh-oh. I really kind of need it to run away from me. <laughs> Oh, man, it, it ran off. Oh, crap. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one of these. Pigs can't climb ladders. They do not have any thumbs. I checked. So this will allow me, I can, like, jump over. If they're chasing me, I can jump over to that. Oh, man, where'd they go? Thing is, the whole, the whole herd might be mad at me now. Okay. Alright, it seems like they're not. Um, all right, here we go. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Did nothing. <laughs> no? Looks like it's coming after me now. Did it come? It didn't come! Shoot. <laughs> this is hard, guys. This is really hard. Especially at night, because I can't see where they're going. Come back! I set up a trap over here. I can't be chasing you all over the freaking jungle. Ha! Huh. No, don't. Uh oh. It's coming for me now. Good, good. Come for me. Come for me. Come and get me. Keep it coming. It didn't. It didn't keep. Yes, yes! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, they're all mad. Good. Get in there. Put the whole family in there. All right? <laughs> we did it. Okay, now I am I'm quite injured. I am quite injured. Uh, however, I will be able to, to get one of these pigs and, uh, and eat it for, for all my meals. All my delicious hunger needs. I don't want the vine. I just want the vine to be out of the way. Huh. Get these. Just throw it off the edge. Okay. Why is there? This is completely inappropriate. I just... Please. A little professionalism, please. Alright. Um, I said... Thank you. I think I'm gonna go for the sow and leave the boar in here. Because uh, you get a lot more sows than boars. 
Ooh. Yeah, you, you, you're here too then. <laughs> oh man. I don't want to die. I drop all my stuff. Okay. I don't know which one of you uh, has been hit, so I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, if we got a, a male and a female, I think they might eventually have babies. There we go. I think if I, yeah, I should be able to reach it. Oh, this is good news, folks. All right, now here's here's the tricky part. Man, can I not... Can I not reach the piggy? Oh, man. This is an issue, because if I go down there, I think they might still try to kill me. There we go. Nine. And some fat and stuff. This is great. Oh, this is great. Okay. I have to remember where this is. This is really important. I don't have any more torches or anything. If we just head back this way until we find some... <sighs> I'm serious. You need to stop. Okay. Uh, I should be able to find it. It's right at the edge of the forest, so it shouldn't be difficult to find. Seven days left before monsters appear. Is it right here? I think it's further... It's further this way, right? It is so much harder to find my way around in the dark, though. I'll tell you what. Who, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? It's harder to find your way around in the dark. It's a complete surprise. Okay. I've not been here, because I didn't get any of the... Whatever those are called, I don't remember. Doesn't matter. I don't need to know. This way kind of hoping in the darkness I'll be able to see my campfire, but it might just be hidden behind... Or, not my campfire, the torch that I left. More oh, copper. <laughs> copper everywhere, everyone. You get some copper, and you get some copper. Alright, this looks familiar. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is that first pond that came out and was disappointed that there were no reeds in it. Yet, yeah, I, see, I see my torch up there. And here's the little babby. Did you get a mama and papa in there? No, you're just a little baby running in circles. Oh, it's adorable. We'll let it grow up. And if we don't get any others in there, then we'll just have it for a little snack sometime. Um, okay, that is a relief. Oh, I'm so glad that I managed to find pigs. Because if I was trying to live on chickens, do you know how much hunting you had to do to get enough white chicken meat? I mean, you saw, I killed three, I killed, I think, a chicken and two roosters, or two hens and two roosters, or something like that. And, uh... It only lasted me one day. That's not enough. I'm not satisfied with that. Okay, get that cooking up. We're in good shape, folks. Doing good. Uh, I started getting more- one short! You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go and get... Um... At least one more read, because that's 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 insane. That's absurd. I don't accept it. I saw more reads too, and I just didn't. I just didn't take them. Ah, oh, goodness. I'll be okay until I get back. There's nothing out here that's gonna try to kill me just yet. I don't know if the reads over here will have regrown yet. Probably not, right? It's only been like a day. It feels like longer because it's been a little while in between play sessions. But yeah, none here. There'll be some around. I'll find them. Should we even worry about that? I will find them. Let's go this way. I remember seeing more in this direction when I was over here. Trying and failing to hunt. Well, I have succeeded now. When I go back, I'll have three portions of very hearty stew waiting for me. Which is good news. I am really quite hungry and I'm hurt pretty badly. And healing also sucks away your hunger. Are there any reeds here? It's hard to see in the dark. Oh, these are the ones I already got. <laughs> well, at least now I know where to turn. You turn at that pond, where I already, I already cut down all the reeds. Here's some more. Okay, one more. And I can make another one of these baskets. Kablamo. Kablamo kabloomy. Some magic words. Everyone knows that, right? Kablamo kabloomy. <laughs> I didn't just make that up on the spot. How dare you? I'll head back. Hopefully the sun will come up soon. 
Um, oh my goodness, folks, I'm just realizing how long this video has gotten. I, it's unbelievable how fast the time passes. All right, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna end the video here, and I, I really am just gonna keep right on going, honestly. Um, so we'll end the video here. I'll say my usual thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate having you around. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments. I will read them. Even if I don't get to respond to all of them, I will read them. And uh, we'll be back next time with, with more of this more of this uh, uh, jungle, jungle story. Almost like a, a book about living in the jungle. A jungle, a jungle tale. You know the one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.